Family forest owners tend not to be any richer than anybody else. They just choose a lifestyle where they're able to do uh, to own some land uh, that has trees on it. And so it's interesting. They're not much different in some ways than urban folks, middle class folks. Um, uh, but figuring out how we help urban people make the connection between a working forest that's changing, growing dynamically, and the need to keep that as a working forest and how that's relevant to their life is really important. And I think, again, I think we've got to figure out how to make those ties to clean water, to clean air, to wildlife, and to our economy much more palpable. And frankly, we in the forest sector have not done a very good job of telling that story, of making those ties clear enough so that all of us feel a sense of urgency about the forest.